I'm Oz, the great and powerful. Why do you seek me? Oh, goodness. You do have a habit of frightening people. Why haven't you destroyed the power of the Wicked Witch of the West? But I have. I melted her. She's gone. Forever. I don't believe you. I don't lie. The witch is gone, I tell you. I was there. I saw that there's nothing left of her. You can ask the king of the monkeys if you don't believe us. The we monkeys can speak again now that they're not under the power of the wicked witch. We have come to claim your promise. What promise? You promised to send me back to Kansas when the power of the wicked witch was destroyed. And you promised to give me brains. And you promised to give me a heart. And you promised to give me courage. Come back tomorrow. I must have time to think. You've had enough time. We're not going to wait a day long. You've had plenty. You must keep your promises to us. Get away. Get away. <laughs> Uh, I'm supposed to be a great and powerful wizard, but I'm just a common man. I'm a humbug. You're a fake? Uh-huh. You see, I used to be a balloonist. What's that? A man who goes up on circus day to draw a big crowd. One day I went up, but when I came back down, I was in the magical land of Oz. It's like what happened to me in the cyclone. When all the citizens saw me coming down from the sky in my beautiful balloon, they figured I must be a great wizard, so I used all the tricks I learned working with the circus to impress them. You had no right to sit to the Wicked Witch. I know, but I lived in deadly fear of her for many years. She was always trying to do me harm. So was the Wicked Witch of the West, so when I heard your house fell on her, you can imagine how pleased I was. We could have been in prison forever at the castle. Ah, but you were too smart for her. And I was willing to promise anything if you would only destroy the power of the Wicked Witch of the West so that I would have nothing to fear. How selfish! You're a very bad man. Oh no, my dear. I'm really a very good man. But, uh... Very bad wizard. But I shall be very unhappy unless you give me brains. Anyone can have brains, Scarecrow. Nothing unique about that. It's how you use brains that counts. However, not everyone has the one thing that proves you can think deep thoughts. What's that? A diploma with your name written on it. Mm. This certifies that Scarecrow has satisfactorily completed the studies course prescribed by a school committee or the magical land of Oz and is therefore entitled to this diploma. Thank you, thank you. This is a great responsibility. I want to think about it. And what about my heart? I think you're wrong to want a heart. It makes most people unhappy. That is a matter of opinion. Very well, you should have a heart. Let's see which one I suits you. This one looks right. How does it feel? I could cry with joy. Don't do that. You'll rust. Hmm. But is it a kind heart? I don't want it unless it's a kind heart. It looks very kind. It feels kind. I'm so happy. <laughs> Where's my courage? You know, of course, that courage is always inside a person. So, I advise you to drink this as soon as possible. Personally, I think you have plenty of courage already. All you need to do is have confidence in yourself. There is no living thing that isn't afraid when it faces danger. True courage is in having, is in having faith when you are afraid. Yes, plenty of that kind of courage already. How do you feel? Full of courage. <laughs> now it's our turn. It was easy to make the scarecrow and the lion and the tin woodsman happy because they believed I can do almost anything. But I'm afraid it will take more than imagination to carry you back to Kansas. I don't know how it can be done. You've got to find a way. Well, maybe in a few years I'll find a way to make my balloon float again. A few years? But I want to go home now. Oh, please, you've got to do something. Dorothy, what's wrong? What's the trouble? My powers are enough to carry Dorothy back to Kansas. Oh, Toto, what are we going to do now? I'm sure I can show you a way to get back to Kansas. Who's that? It's Glinda the Good Witch. Oh, Glinda, I'm so glad to see you. Can you really show me how to get back home? If you're sure you want to go. Yes, yes, I do. Then you'd better say goodbye to your friends. Will you be all right without me? 
Yes, of course. I never have to be afraid to be afraid ever again. Now that I have a diploma, there are all sorts of wonderful things I can do. With a heart, I can even fall in love. Aww. Aww. Look, he's blushing. I've never seen a tank can blush before. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Dorothy. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're a wonderful person. Don't forget us. How can I? And don't any of you forget me. Oh, no. Never. Never, never. Don't worry, we won't forget you. And thank you, my friends in the land of Oz. Are we leaving now? Yes. How are you going to do it? I knew the ruby slippers had powers. I just didn't know what they were. The king of the winged monkeys told me everything. You mean the secrets in the slippers? Yes. They can carry one to any place in the world in just three steps. And each step will be made in the wink of an eye. That's amazing. All you have to do is click your heels together three times and command the shoes to carry you wherever you wish to go. Well, thank you, Glinda, thank you. Stay close, Toto.